In cinema, the special effects are used for the realization of fantastic set or other reproducible situations. In 1895, Alfred Clark invented the first special effect film called Stop Trick. The special effect was widely disseminated and improved from 1920. One of the special effects aim of many films is the invisibility phenomenon, which makes an object or a person no visible to the human eye. Let's see what has been the evolution of invisibility in cinema's history. The first film in which the invisible effect appears is The Invisible Man by James Whale in 1933. The trick was obtained using a completely black set, including walls and floor, to minimize reflections and shadows. The Invisible Man scenes were shot on two different films, then superimposed. In the first film were shot black drops without the actor. After, on a second film, were shot the actor wearing uh, under his clothes a suit of black velvet that covered the whole body, including the face. In La Ferrabile Invincibile Mr. Invisible, the invisible effect has been used to stage ironic and funny situations. The trick of invisibility is admirable. For example, optical crystals reflections and mates mounted on the camera's optics. In particular, for the object and close movement used by invisible protagonists have been used thin and transparent wires. In 1980, the technique is improved. You can see it in Predator. The visibility effect was achieved by having someone in a bright red suit because it was the farthest opposite of the green of the jungle and the blue of the sky. The red was removed with the chroma key techniques, leaving an empty area. The tail was then repeated without the actors using a 30% wider lens on the camera. When the two takes were combined optically, the jungle from the second take filled in the empty area. In Hollow Man, the problem was make visible the invisibility. To achieve the effects of Sebastian being invisible, Bacon was digitally removed from the footage and the scene was shot twice, once with the actors and once without. The crew used a motion control camera to ensure the same movements were achieved and the shots were then composited in post-production. For scenes where Sebastian was outlined in smoke, water and blood, Bacon wore a latex body suit, face mask and a dental plate all of one color. Green was used for blood, blue for smoke and black for water. Visual effects supervisor Craig Hayes then replaced Bacon with a digital clone to form an outline of his performance. One of the last films with invisible technique is Il Ragazzo Invisibile. The invisibility effect in this film is extremely improved and associated with 3D reconstruction and compositing. 3D reconstruction was used in some scenes, for example in the object's levitation part. In particular, in the moped scene, in which Michele dresses a, a red helmet, done the two different shootings. The first one was only a reference, especially to understand lights, shadows and interaction with materials. Instead, the compositing technique that has been used was green screen method applied to Michele's body thanks to a green suit in order to recreate the bottom.